I decided to go on Audible when I came in the other side of the road to where I found some acorns and a potential scrape. There's a, there's a creek you know, right here. It's uh, on an oxbow. That's a wrap for morning one of the 2023 whitetail season. Pretty uneventful. Um, it's nine o'clock. I've been here two and a half hours. Um, normally I'd probably sit a little bit longer, but it's, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some thunder rolling in the distance. It's going to storm probably all afternoon. So I doubt I'll be back out today. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to still hunt down this creek until it um, hits some private land and then uh, take the edge of the private land back up to the road. So see if I can't find a, a better spot, a little bit deeper, maybe where the, the deer are going to go through. Um, maybe not yet. I'm still I'm still kind of thinking they're, they're up closer to the road. But as people start hunting here, as pressure starts up close to the road, I, I'm sure the deer will start moving back. As they start filtering back, I'm going to be there to um, intercept them. So, um, I mean, I didn't see a single deer. Saw some squirrels, heard an owl, saw a woodpecker. Um, but, man, it's a beautiful morning out in the woods here in North Carolina. Um, currently 73 degrees low. Low is around 70. I got a bit of a chill walking in, and then um, I had to go with my zip up my quarter zip when I got into the tree because all the sweat was starting to um, evaporate yeah that's the word I was looking for so we're going to get down and see if we can't find a place to set up later today or tomorrow either way I'm excited to be out here happy to be out here blessed to be out here and uh, looking forward to what the rest of the season holds two and a half hours in the saddle this morning and Maybe we'll shoot a goal for 100 hours in the saddle this year. I think that's going to be my goal. That way, if I don't shoot a deer, well, it's not for lack of trying. It's for lack of trying in the right places. So, all right, get down, walk around, and uh, if I find anything, I'll uh, talk to you guys then. If not, talk to you later.
deeper than I saw him. On, I've got him on camera um, to kind of where I think he's traveling through because um, I'm not sure that he comes the same route through this property every time. So I'm going to try to catch him a little bit closer to his bed and maybe he'll be a little bit more consistent. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm uh, only hunting him. I guess if another nice buck comes through, I, I may consider shooting that one. But uh, for tonight, no does. Just a buck. Just that really big buck. Um, we'll come out here and do some doe patrol later in the year, but got some friends who are wanting to hunt out here as well. So after tonight, I'm probably going to let them hunt out here unless I start getting him on camera more consistently. And then I may uh, come out here later this week, but I think after this, I'm going to go back out to that public land. I found some really good stuff out there and uh, chase deer out there and let my, let my friends uh, hunt out here and kill some does. And then I'll come here late season and uh, clean up. So let's go uh, find a tree and get set up. And then we'll talk in a little bit later. Yeah. Alright guys, just wanted to take a quick minute to uh, share something that I learned today. Um, so far I haven't seen any deer, but I try to learn something every time I go into the woods. And today was a, a pretty big aha moment for me. Um, so the forecasted wind for, for this area is out of the southwest so that's directly kind of behind the camera so you looking at me it's at your uh it would be seven o'clock right Six, seven. yeah seven o'clock so straight back that way my one o'clock and then um it's evening it's, it was pretty warm tonight it's, it's already started to cool down a good bit i'm wearing a quarter zip right now um but I knew going into this that the thermals would be a factor, but I thought that um, the wind would overcome it. There was supposed to be a five or six mile an hour wind out the southwest. We had some rain coming in, supposed to be coming in tonight, so I figured, nah, no big deal. Well, I was wrong. Um, about, I don't know, it's 6.45 right now. It's crunch time. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but it's okay. Um, about, I don't know, maybe an hour ago, hour and a half ago, as the sun started to set behind the tree, immediately what was going on. I started throwing milkweed, and sure enough, um, the milkweed was going directly in the opposite direction of the wind, um, and then uh, as the wind would pick up, wind gusts would come through and throw milkweed, and it would be going the way the wind's supposed to go. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, I guess, you know, if, if the my target buck would have come through where I expected him to come through, I guess we still have time, so... Hopefully if he comes through, there's a wind gust that will cover me. Um, but if he would have come through where, earlier where there was no wind, no wind gust to overcome the thermals, I would have uh, probably been busted unless I could get a shot at him early. So, um, yeah, just wanted to kind of share that with y'all. I know for me, I've heard about thermals a ton. I've read about them. I've listened to podcasts and all of the above, but it wasn't until I really like just saw it in action just right now that it started to make sense, started to click, and uh, I guess I'm going to have to pay more attention now, so just adding more stuff to the toolbox and uh, trying to fine tune my, my hunting ability and my hunting knowledge to get more successful in the woods, so we're going to sit here until a good bit after dark and then climb down and head out. Hopefully, we get some wind. I can feel the wind in my face right now, so it's a good start. But hopefully, we get some better wind and uh, we don't get busted. So, you'll find out right away. Later. What's up, y'all? It is um, Friday, October 15th. October. Dreaming. September 15th, I am out at some public land. Again, got my bow in hand. We're headed in. I've got a, um, I'm running late, so I'm gonna have to hoof it. But primarily tonight, what I want to do is I really want to find a good spot for tomorrow morning. Um, and if I get set up and, you know, see some deer, that'd be awesome. But, um, 
tomorrow morning is going to be pretty cold. It'll be the first real cold morning of the um, of the year, so I'm trying to get in and um, get a good set up, a good spot set up, so that way I can um, sneak in in the morning a little bit quicker, get up the tree, and uh, get after it. Um, I'm gonna go. There's a there's a river or creek. It's kind of like a it's a really big creek, I guess. Um, about a I don't know, probably half a mile in, mile in, probably a half mile in. Um, and then about another half mile down the creek is a uh, a giant beaver dam that's been there for a really long time, and the top is just covered with deer tracks. So I'm gonna um, try to set up along the north side of the river um, and then the hope that the thermals take my wind away um, and then catch anything going up and down the river. I'm going to be downstream from where the crossing is so as long as the thermals are pumping I should be good to go um, but hey it's all learning I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out, so um, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll uh, get a little bit. I'll talk to you guys in a while. Later. So, quick little update. Um, right after I went across the log, uh, I don't know if we put that in this video or not, but right across it, oh, went across like a log bridge, I started seeing what looked like some really good deer trails, so I started kind of checking the wind and trying to find a spot to set up and then I heard a thud 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 swirl so I looked up I can stood up and looked I couldn't see anything mosquito I couldn't see anything and then um I got blown at so there are deer in here which is awesome I found the deer um I've already blown them out tonight so I'm gonna keep going keep pushing and um got the wind in my favor right now. I don't see any movement out there. I'm going to keep pushing and see if I can't find a spot to uh, to set up for the morning. And maybe I can sneak in here and shoot one of them. So, um, yeah, this will probably be a, a night morning on video, I guess. So let's uh, remember that. Andy, that's for you. All right. All right, what's up? So um, still out scouting around. I haven't set up yet. I won't set up tonight. It's almost... 7 o'clock. Um, scout until 7 and then start heading back. Um, man, that really sounded like a deer. Come on, baby. Alright. Anyways, there's an oxbow right in front, in front of me. Um, and the, uh, and there's an oxbow, like, over here, behind, like, directly behind the camera. And then directly behind me is a giant clear cut and this is kind of like a super thin area so I'm going to try to find a tree that I can set up in that gives me a, an opportunity to shoot and doesn't um, put me upwind of any trails or as few trails as possible. I think I see a tree right now actually that would be pretty good and it's right on the edge of a drainage so if I can sneak up across the other side of the creek put on my hip waders and um come up that might be good it also looks like this water's moving slowly but it's moving so that may help with some thermals um pulling but i'm gonna go over and check this tree out and um if it works out i'll let you guys know all right i told myself i was gonna scout more than i hunted this year and i wasn't gonna hunt until i found something good last weekend i just kind of threw some stats up because i wanted to sit in the tree and hunt now it's time to bear down and scout until I find what I want on, on it. So um, there's some stuff on the other side of this property that would be pretty good to hunt, but I just I don't think I can get in there quietly enough. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some thinking about that one. Maybe try to get back in there Sunday afternoon or something like that. All right. End this video and see if I can't get over there to that tree. Overall, I consider that a successful scouting trip. Um, ran into some deer, found some pretty good deer sign. Didn't find any good buck sign, but um, 
I know there's got to be some bucks in that clear cut. It's giant. It's thick and nasty. Oh, but they just might not be coming out on this side. There's a um, maybe a three or four hundred yard thick strip of woods between that and the river that I'm going to um, maybe even check out tomorrow afternoon. We'll see. I've got to look at wind and wind over the next week. Make a plan. Um, I got scale on next Saturday, but. Um, yeah, I can help Friday. Anyways, I gotta look at the wind and, and make a make a good plan. So, I'll probably try to get out there uh, tomorrow afternoon. Got the another cell camera I can drop. Um, I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna go into the um, spot where I have another camera. It hasn't been very active, but I think it's a bad spot. I just kind of threw it up at the end of the day. Um, they have scouting. I was running out of time. I had to get home, so I just threw it up there. Figured it would be better in the woods than in my backpack, but wish I would enough because I've got to put it up in lots of places. Anyways, um, keep saying anyways. It's odd, I don't usually do that. I also don't think I've been facing the camera towards me. But, um, yeah, uh, we'll see. There's a pretty good old flat right there near it, and so I'm going to try to um, get in there early tomorrow morning and sneak in, set up an oak flat, and hopefully catch some deer filtering through. Um, you know, I'm not super hopeful that that buck will filter through. There's a chance. Uh, there's, a, there's one rubber that in there. Looks like it's maybe been freshened up recently, but um, kind of small. So even if a buck does go through, I'm not even sure it'd be a shooter. But um, yeah, just want to see some deer. Just want to get on them and um, learn this new property. This is my maybe fifth time out here. So we're doing pretty good, I think. Um, Kind of gather as much intel as I can so into the season I'll have them dialed and narrowed down and I can uh, really get after them. Catch you on the next one. Good morning, y'all. It's uh, Saturday, the 16th of September. We're back out on public land. It's the first cold morning of the year, as you can tell. Um, unfortunately, the wind just didn't work out this morning for where I wanted to go. So I snuck in and got turned around and I just found a tree that I could shoot to a trail that I found and climbed it. Um, it's not the greatest setup, but I think it'll do. Um, I've got a creek kind of directly west of me, and then uh, right behind me is a giant tree that fell down.
time to head home. Take a nap, eat some, eat some lunch, and then uh, come back out. So, day's not over. What's up? It's uh, about four o'clock on Saturday, September the 16th. Just uh, pulled up some private land. I'm gonna head in here. I'm gonna get to the other side, the um, north side of that private land, or the north side of that um, clear cut that I was on yesterday, last night. Um, wind's coming from the south today instead of the north, so it's probably where we're gonna need to be. Um, also, that just sets up better for sneaking in and uh, getting in quietly. Yesterday, I blew a bunch of stuff out trying to get in there. So, uh, hopefully, tonight we'll be able to get in there a little bit quieter and uh, get some action. So, I'm going to huff it until um, I'll get about where I was last night and then uh, start sneaking in and see what we find. So, stay tuned. It's going to be a good night. So I figured I would uh, <clears throat> show you guys the clear cut that I'm going to be, I guess, trying to line. <clears throat> so behind me is the clear cut. It's pretty giant. I haven't measured it, but it's uh, it's super long. It's probably at least a quarter mile long by I'm probably 200 yards wide. Um, and on the other side of it is uh, another like pine thicket kind of like this. So. And then there's probably 200 yards, maybe 300 yards back in there. There's just like a random stand of oaks. And so I'm going to try to kind of sneak through this pine thicket around and loop and um, get set up on the main trail between this uh, cut over and or this clear cut, cut over, whatever that you want to call it, um, back into those pines. Um, I don't know, it should be good. Uh, this is where those deer were coming from last night that I busted out. And so I'm um, hopeful that there will be more deer on the other side of it. And I can uh, intercept them on the way to get some acorns or wherever they're going to feed. Um, there's plenty of woody browse throughout these entire woods, which makes it really difficult um, until the, the uh, oaks start to drop. But that's not going to stop me. I'm going to be in the woods if I can be in the woods. So I have scout and have hunting tonight. But... Um, find a good trail we're gonna set up so I'll talk to you when we get there all right so we've been out here for like an hour and a half and uh, pretty deep about as deep as I wanted to go and there's just nothing like I expected um, the wind keeps shifting and um, I haven't really found the deer sign I was hoping to find or at least the buck sign there's definitely deer in here but I'm just not finding you know sign that I had hoped to see, so I'm going to work um, just a little bit further and probably abort missioning this way and go back over to the, um, the other part of this property where I found a bunch of uh, giant rope trees and a, a really good creek crossing last week. Um, I think that's my best bet. I, mean, I know there are deer there, so I've got a couple cameras with me. I'm going to go put a camera or two up. Uh, start doing some inventory, see if I can get some, get a pattern figured out. Uh, see if I can't get something killed in the next couple weeks. So, <sighs> kind of sucks to be. I feel like I'm not really hunting, but I have to remind myself that this is hunting. Uh, sitting in a tree, uh, watching the woods is not hunting. So, uh, a lot different than my. Um, previous plan and the way I've hunted in the past just kind of sit and hope and pray but um, I don't have the time to be doing that anymore so you know high quality sets and high quality hunts and that's what that take what it takes to get there so I'm just going to keep working keep plugging and um, eventually we'll come across something that uh, is worth hunting over so stay tuned Maybe a little boring for the next couple weeks, but we're gonna get on. Uh, somebody take some time later. Update took a couple more steps and um, just not feeling it. So, grabbed the old cell phone out, did the coin flip app, um, heads I would stay here and try to figure it out. Tails I'd turn tail and 
that up or put up a camera and um, tails two times in a row. Always do two out of three. Tails two times in a row. So that's where we're going to go. Head kind of the exact opposite direction as I'm facing right now and get to that creek crossing as fast as I can and try to get a camera up there without boogering anything. Um, Even more reason to get out of here. Um, but yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, so I'm out on this um, peninsula. It's just, this is where I wanted to get to. I didn't get here quite early enough to set up, I don't think. So I'm just going to throw a camera up and uh, this tree behind me right here. Um, go one stick up and put it there. And um, you can see down behind me right here is just a banging trail. Um, and then it goes back over that log over there and then back into the woods um, there's a like a stagnant creek here and a giant beaver dam that is just um probably about 40 yards that way like behind the camera so it's the only that i found it's the only way to cross from the woods on one side to the other Probably won't again until next Friday. 